Hello Machine Shop fans, this is Tubal Kane again from Illinois. Back to talk to you a little bit more about Bridgeport Mills. This is a one horse mill with the J head and a couple days ago I showed you how to change the worm inside of here. But while I still got the motor off I thought I'd tell you how to change the timing belt. The timing belt which is the uh, back gear belt broke on the some time ago so I bought a new one ready to install it which is kind of a lengthy job so I'm going to break this down into several smaller videos and join them together and the first thing I'm going to do is tilt the head so that the uh, upper portion here is at a convenient height so that I can uh, easily work at it. Okay the head has been tilted about 90 degrees and I took the uh, top housing off and it was merely held on by six cap screws that go in these holes clear around the top of the machine. There are also two dowel pins that help align it which are a little bit of a struggle as you pull it apart. There's the other dowel pin right there. Now as you can see this cog belt or timing belt whatever you want to call it uh, that's used for the uh, back gears, the slow speed, and it connects uh, this pulley with this pulley. It's basically ready to go on right now, but with the exception of the fact that it won't really go on here, it's so tight, so this pulley is made in two pieces, and you can see there's four screws around here, and that allows you to take just this thin top piece off, and slide the belt on there because this belt does not stretch at all. Here's the spline that allows the pulley here to move up and down. Now the other step pulley of course is used for the V-belt for the direct drive and has four speeds. If you got a bad belt there change it at the same time. It makes it pretty easy. Fairly high degree of difficulty on this. Now before I go any farther, I'm going to clean this up real good. There's awful lot of grease and belt debris that built up from over the years. So that's what I'm going to do in the next step. Okay, in the last hour I've cleaned this up real good. And I took this piece off that I just mentioned about a few minutes ago. And that allows the belt to slip on and then later on you can put this on as one of the last steps. So when you uh, start to reassemble the belt will actually have to be on this pulley right here because you've got a bit of a step here that does not allow you to slide it on. So you're going to put it on here first and then you're going to reassemble the whole top half housing here onto uh, the machine itself and as you do that, you're sliding that timing belt on here, which is no easy feat. So at this time, you'll be calling your wife down from the kitchen to give you a hand and give her some earplugs because there's a great possibility you'll be doing some violent cursing. So we're going to give that a try, and then I'll get back to you in a few minutes, and we'll see how this looks as we reassemble it. Remember that everything needs to be very clean as you reassemble it. No grit, grime, dirt in there and uh, lightly lubricated, uh, but no oil on the belts. Okay, I'm back and that was considerably easier than what I anticipated and I actually did it without the help of my wife who was too busy to come down anyway. But as you can see, the belt is on there. Right here, the brand new belt. And I haven't put this ring on yet, but it can easily be installed and screwed down through this access hole. So that's the least of our problems. Then looking over on the other side here, I've got it pushed on and uh, slid on and held onto these uh, two dowel pins. And now I'm ready to insert these six uh, socket heads cap screws that surround the housing and screw it down for good. This just about concludes this part of the job and then I'm going to uh, finish assembling a few other pieces here, put the motor back on and raise the thing back up to 90 degrees. 
In one of my other videos, I'm going to show you how to indicate the head and get it back to true zero. Okay, the job's about done. I got the motor installed. The belt, it's kind of dark over there. All I got left to do is to put the two belt guards are on and it's ready to use. Remember to tighten up these four cap screws real good. Be sure and turn off the electricity when you're working on this thing. This was about a 90 minute job and I did manage to do it all alone. We're going to fire her up here and give it a the acid test. Had to turn on the phase converter and now we'll turn on the motor and she's running smooth and is ready to use. As I mentioned previously be sure and watch my next video and I'll show you how to indicate the head into true zero. This is Tubal Kane saying Thank you for watching. So long for now.